Once home to dozens of Ukrainian families, this nine-storey building is ready for repairs. It's been a Russian target since the very first day of the invasion, and locals have counted about 20 strikes on the building and its vicinity. All the residents have had to move out, but some have returned to collect their belongings. It was on the night of April 10th. We'd already left, thank God. We were in the village. Two missiles hit. Everything was destroyed. The apartment was destroyed. Tetiana's family has lived in an apartment here for 20 years. Her daughter's room is the only one that survived the shelling. Workers first have to prepare the building to make sure it's safe for them to carry out their reparations. But in this other town, in the same region, a repair job won't be enough to fix the damage caused. Well, we've got to tear it all down because nothing can really be restored here. We will take everything apart and then slowly build up from scratch. Yuri was left homeless when the explosion destroyed his home. Now, his parents, as well as his two daughters, live in a one-room flat in the town centre. The UN refugee chief says the war has driven some 14 million Ukrainians from their homes. Eight months of shelling have turned this village in Mykolaiv into a ghost town. But this woman didn't have the heart to leave her home when the shelling began. I refused immediately. I said, I was born here and I will stay here. I will not leave. I won't leave the house. I'll rebuild it. My husband and I have slowly been collecting stones and bricks. And, well, we rebuilt it. Over half of the village was destroyed. And with no electricity and little water, conditions here are rough. But despite the cold, people are still trickling back to rebuild what is left of their homes.